Hello, I'm Prashant Bhardwaj. I'm joined today by a very well-known women entrepreneur and founder of Genius Foods, Lucinda Bruce Gardine. Lucinda, many thanks for joining us today. A pleasure. Perhaps we could start the conversation uh, through the lens of ambition. Uh, what motivated you to become an entrepreneur? Uh, from a very early age, I'd always wanted to run my own business. I've always wanted to do something good in the world, you know, do something useful out there. And I suppose my opportunity came and the idea came to me when my son was diagnosed as gluten intolerant, mm. uh, which meant he could no longer eat bread. Mm. And bread is a big part of life. Mm. Uh, it's a staple. Living without it is very, very inconvenient. And it was definitely very difficult when he was a small child. Mm. And so with my skill set um, as a chef and as, as an expert in uh, ingredient functionality, I felt that it was my time to uh, develop a bread that would make his life normal. Uh, and and bring convenience to many other people like him who couldn't eat gluten. Right. As you scaled Genius, uh, what challenges did you face and how did you overcome those challenges? Well, in the beginning, it was just me in my kitchen at home while mm. I developed the bread. That was a three-year project. Mm. Um, I then, on my own, um, engaged with the bakery and we scaled up the, the bread. So I was immediately relying on other people mm. to help me scale my bread up from mm. a home-baked loaf into a commercial product. Um, and then really at that stage, I realized that my, my talent was um, absolutely working to the full and I needed to put people around me mm. to negotiate with the retailers, to build a brand. Um, you know, I couldn't do that. I had no experience in that area. Mm. So it was very important to bring a, a great team on board that could help me take the, the bread to market really quickly before someone else did it mm. before me. And um, really since then, it's been about keeping quality up mm. um, as we scale uh, the business across the UK and across the world. And again, it's been about bringing great people in, including a CEO. Fantastic. Yeah. What's your, what's your ambition for Genius? Um, my ambition for Genius is that gluten-free bakery products are exactly the same in every way um, mm. as, as a wheat-based product. So that it's readily available, it costs the same, mm. the distribution is exactly the same across the world, um, that people can just eat completely normally on a gluten-free diet. Mm. As you reflect on your journey, Lucinda, uh, what advice would you have for up-and-coming women entrepreneurs who are looking to scale their business? My main piece of advice is be happy with yourself. Mm. Know your strengths and be absolutely cognizant of your weaknesses. Mm. Um, you already will have loads of strengths because you'll have got to a, a place that many people would never ever be mm. able to get to because of your persistence True. and your talent. But then recognize that you will have weaknesses and you need to bring people in mm. to cover all of those areas mm. with their strengths mm. so that you can build your business at pace mm. and stay ahead of the competition. Mm. So that's really important. Um, never be afraid to take on investment because that allows you to grow um, yeah. fast and make sure you involve investors that are as mm. passionate as you are mm. about the opportunity. It's terrific. As you know, in our report, we've given a recommendation around setting up a Women's Enterprise Academy to help the most talented and ambitious women entrepreneurs who are looking to scale their business. What are your thoughts on that? I think it's absolutely the right time to do it. Mm. I think women are getting much more um, airtime in the press now. There mm. are many more women going out there mm. into the world of entrepreneurism. Mm. Um, and I think to give energized, inspired, talented women a forum to meet other women in the same place mm. uh, to to get um, advice at different stages as they develop their business mm. and to possibly even meet investors um, mm. in that forum too is really helpful many thanks lucinda for your time and sharing your experience with us that's a pleasure